السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس سیشن وی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ وی کین ٹیسٹ آ سیرامک کیپیسٹر بیسکلی اٹ از اے کوشچن فرام ون آف مائی ویور ہی آس می ہاؤ یو کین ٹیسٹ آ سیرامک کیپیسٹر ان ڈایوڈ بارڈ بیسکلی دس کوشچن از ویری ڈیپ کوشچن فرام مائی ویور He watched my video, video number 592, that is for this power supply and I really appreciate and I am thankful for making this comment because at approximately time stamp after, after one hour, because this video it was around one hour eight minute, at passing one hour I checked this capacitor and demonstrated that we can test this capacitor and he asked me how you can test a capacitor in diode mode let's explain if you are new to my channel I will request to subscribe it if you have not subscribed it and if you want to watch my videos in future you can press the like icon button so you will be notified for my new videos first of all let me demonstrate discharge it properly it will display some reading and then it will say ol i will discharge the capacitor again and i will check it the multimeter gives some reading and then it says ol now i have another capacitor here it is for energy saver cfl from this point to this point from this point to this point there is a one capacitor in series between these two terminals there is nothing connected any any other thing so let's check this capacitor in diode mode if there is a short circuit it will give a beep for safety purpose always discharge the capacitor so this is short circuit if we see this circuit from this terminal to the one lead of the capacitor this terminal to the second lead of the capacitor so in diode mode or in continuity mode it will give short circuit if i will check this one this is a good capacitor in continuity mode are in diode mode in continuity mode it will give just a beep because in continuity mode it uses some high amount of current you can see but in diode mode we see the capacitor charged then it is giving ol in diode mode if the capacitor is good we can see it quickly let me switch to ohm mode in ohm mode we can also see the capacitor will start charging and we will see the resistance it is behaving like a analog multimeter the needle based multimeter when we test capacitor in resistance mode the needle starts to charge and it will move to its maximum resistance so here we can see the capacitor is charging slowly because this time we have other capacitors in the circuit resistance will start to increase and it will reach to ol the same time if i will test with capacitance mode it will give some 3.1 microfarad because this time other capacitor is also in series the snubber circuit and these capacitors so in circuit it will say some high capacitance value if you will remove it it will give 1 microfarad because some multimeters these multimeters have, don't have a good response for in circuit testing for that we need to use some lcr meter 
now we will check the same circuit with one two three four and we will use also multifunction tester for testing the capacitor so if we want to test ceramic capacitor discharge the leads and check it it is 103 100 nanofarad good if I will check this one it is 6 nanofarad 475 it is 470 470 microfarad it is 1 nanofarad 47 nanofarad so in this way we can verify the capacitance and if we test this short capacitor which is internally short it will give OL that means there is no capacitance while if we test some capacitor here it will say it is 237 microfarad this one 200, 237 microfarad so this is the reason while testing if we test in continuity mode if the capacitor is short circuit either in diode mode or in continuity mode it will give indication that the capacitor is good or bad if there is some high value capacitor you can say this is 470 microfarad capacitor if we will test this one in diode mode we can see the indication reverse the leads in diode mode we can check it like this okay let me check with this clamp meter when we use clamp meter now we are in white range that is continuity mode first of all let me check this short circuit capacitor it is giving the beep that means there is a short circuit this capacitor is bad let me check this capacitor it is giving OL that means the capacitor does not have any short circuit let's move to the ohm mode the resistance mode it will give indication that the resistance is increasing so it is a good indication that the resistance is increasing the capacitor is charging now let's move to the diode mode it will start charging it will show the voltage and then it will say OL that means this time the capacitor have maximum resistance reverse the leads it will charge and it will say OL in diode mode so let's move to capacitance mode when we use capacitor mode always discharge the capacitor properly it is giving 1.1 microfarad that is very close to the actual value it is 1 microfarad so we can say this multimeter is giving some closest range 1.2 1.1 microfarad because this time in circuit testing sometime the multimeter also include the circuit capacitance now it is giving 1.47 and it is increasing because it will give the accumulated capacitance of the circuit some multimeters don't have the good response okay similarly we can check in capacitor smart 1 nano Four eighty, four seventy microfarad. The actual value it is four seventy microfarad. 
100 nanofarads. 5.5 nanofarads. 46 nanofarad it's 47 so we can say we can test the capacitor in capacitor mode in let me check in diode mode it is ohms kilo ohms this is diode mode in diode mode if I will connect the capacitor it will give some voltage indication and then it will give OL that means the capacitor is charged we can check the voltage here it is DC voltage we can verify that the capacitor is charged it is 1.5 volt charging when we tested the capacitor in diode mode at that time the capacitor charged with 1.5 volt it will show the charging time let me check this LCR meter power on when you are testing don't test voltage so it is a caution for these multimeters let me check this capacitor here discharge the capacitor it is a best practice when we are testing some capacitor some inductor at that time we need to use the shortest leads we can see it is giving 1.067 it is 1 microfarad because I am using 2, nan 2 microfarad range so this LCR meter because it is specialized for the inductor capacitance and resistance so it is giving the perfect reading that is the in circuit okay similarly we can check the capacitor value here this one decrease the range it is 1.1 nano 1 nanofarad capacitor it is 484 485 that is 470 mic nanofarad okay let's check this multimeter in first step we will go to the ohm mod the resistance mod it is showing that the resistance is increasing that means the capacitor is charging when it is showing this type of display that means the capacitor is charging reverse the leads it is increasing okay let me check this capacitor so it is giving zero that means this capacitor is short circuit let's move to the diode and continuity mode it is giving zero short circuit but if I will check this one it displays some charging voltage and then it will give open circuit move the re reverse the leads reverse the leads swap the leads so in diode mode or in continuity mode we can verify that the capacitor is charging if you want to test the value of the capacitor move to capacitance mode it is giving 2.4 2.5 microfarad the exact value of the capacitor that is 1 microfarad it is giving 3.0 3.4 like that so that means the capacitor have good response to the capacitor is good similarly we can verify the capacitor here it is 478 
470 microfarads. Then we have this multifunction tester. This multifunction tester, it is the best tool. It will give the ESR value of the capacitor. That is the best test for a capacitor. Connect the capacitor between lead number 3 and 1. Press the test button. It will test and it will say it is 476 microfarad 0.29 ohm ESR. That is the best practice for testing a capacitor. Why? It will give the resistance of the electrolyte, the internal resistance of the capacitor. It is for electrolyte capacitor. And if I will test this capacitor, it, it is one nanofarad capacitor. Let me check it. For ceramic capacitors, it will give the ESR value, but it will not give a correct reading for the capacitance. Why? Because it is not an electrolyte capacitor. It is giving 4799 nanofarad. Why? If we check this capacitor with It is 1.1 nanofarad capacitor. The exact value that is marked on the capacitor that is it is 102J that means 1 nanofarad 1000 pico or 1 nanofarad capacitor. If we will test this ceramic capacitor on ESR meter it will not give the good reading. But for electrolyte capacitor, it will give the ESR value and testing with ESR meter, we can find the exact life of the capacitor. What is the condition of the dielectric? What is its remaining life? So friends, I hope so. This video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ